supposed to mention anything else? Heat wave? Anybody seen Ash? You are more talkative than I anticipated. What up? It's your boy NWP, and we're back at it once again with another video. And hopefully, you guys are as excited about the upcoming event as I am. As you know, yesterday I made an entire video discussing the release of the Sun Squad Collection event trailer, and it is in fact live right now. And we did get a ton of information, including the reveal of our next heirloom. And honestly, I was actually surprised to see that it was the Ash Heirloom and not the Caustic Prestige skin, as I just kind of figured that's what they were going to go with first. But before we get too far along in the video, guys, if you want a chance to win Ash's Heirloom, you have eight days left, and there is a link in the description down below where you'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help you improve your odds. Check it out while you still have the chance. And don't forget, if we get 100 likes, we'll be giving away a thousand apex coins so take the time to like this video and if you're new smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video and of course leave a comment in the video today and if you get that uh thousand apex coins you could use it towards the heirloom but let's get into this one the sun squad is actually announced for march 28th which is this upcoming tuesday and there is a number of things being added into this as well as some changes in the patch notes as well but obviously being that it is a collection event it does in fact mean that we have a whole bunch of new cosmetics that will be available all have a beach kind of theme going on with them and honestly i think a lot of people are going to enjoy these the only one that really doesn't make sense to me is the ash one as it kind of looks a little bit more like a space alien setup but whatever it's all good we also do have obviously the ash heirloom which is nunchucks or nunchaku as you would expect with ash's background with kung fu and tai chi and the like so very very interesting that that's in there to say the least and of course we've got a new limited time mode by the name of heat wave and in heat wave it's a very interesting when the heat wave hits you need to be the, either indoors in a heat shield or wearing sunglasses to mitigate the damage which is very interesting and sounds something a little bit closer to a PUBG game mode than anything else. Heat shields have increased size and protect you in a large area from the sun for those moments when you're caught outdoors and need to beat the heat quickly. Take care when using heat shields though, they will be destroyed quickly when deployed outside the ring. So that means that in the ring, they're actually going to be pretty much devastated quickly by the uh, sun as well as the ring damage itself. So interesting stuff to say there. And of course, we do have a reward tracker, as you would expect in the event as well. And some pretty cool looking cosmetics in the reward tracker, if you ask me. I mean, they do follow that alien kind of theme again, or I guess like squirt gun-ish kind of vibe. But of course, we do have a brand new store rotation coming along as well. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in any of that stuff. But of course, there is some changes to the game that are coming in the patch notes as well with the Ava 8 entering the replicator alongside the 3030 repeater, as well as the longbow DMR and Volt SMG returning to the floor. Expect a very heavy energy meta in this upcoming update that we also have. What did you guess? A buff to Ash as her arc snare cooldown has been decreased from 25 to 20 seconds. Her travel speed increased from 700 to 1200 and the tether activation delay and snare grow time effect decreased by about 50 percent the arc snare will now more reliably hit intended targets so look for ash to be getting a little bit more love on the battlefield also you'll be able to hide in world item uis when aiming down sights and hide in world crafting uis in the center of the screen when aiming down sights as well and of course there is a whole host of bug fixes which I will go ahead and put up on the screen for you guys to check out right now. Now, obviously, there's going to be a little bit more stuff happening throughout the season, and we still got the Caustic Prestige skin to go. So if you guys are interested in getting a Caustic Prestige giveaway, then let me know in the comments section before you let me know your opinion on the Sun Squad Collection event, which I honestly think, considering all the recolors, Personally, this is way better than what we've been seeing. 
and I hope we get more content like this compared to what we've been seeing throughout season 16. But of course, guys, if you want to continue this conversation or hey, maybe you want to start another conversation. Hey, maybe you just want to at me in some of the crazy shenanigans and show me off some of the wild clips you're getting here in season 16. Then I highly suggest you take the time to check out the social media links. They're on the screen as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favorite, a follow, whatever you haven't done already and it will be greatly appreciated. And of course, guys, if you wanna stay up to date with everything that is Apex Legends, make sure you check out the second channel, Apex Minutes, where I hook you up with 60 second news briefs covering all the interesting information about Apex Legends. That about wraps it up for today's video. Make sure you check out all the other stuff linked in the description and get your entries in for the giveaway. I'm sure some people are gonna to wanna to win that Ash Heirloom, given how popular it's probably going to be and with that buff but here's another video guys check it out if you haven't already thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and don't forget you won't be able to enjoy any of this upcoming event if you don't stay safe stay healthy and as always have a good one